name's Brogan. Lieutenant Brogan. For 20 years, I was with the NYPD. Now, well, let's just say I've transferred to another precinct. Is that? It's a red dot tarantula. I traded Ralphie for it. Pretty orbital, huh? It's really poisonous, Dad. I want that out of the house first thing in the morning. It can't get out of here. Oh, come on, Dad. You're not scared uh, of it. You heard your father. Matt? <sighs> Matt! Nice work, zit face. I'll get it. Whoever it is, tell him we're about to eat dinner. Uncle Murph! How you doing, princess? Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes! Oh. Hey, Murph! Yo! <laughs> Long time, bub. Yeah, how you doing? What are you doing here? What do you mean? I just came to see my old pal. Ah, extra weight looks good, man. I love you too, Brogan. <laughs> For the lady of the house. Oh, thank you. So, uh, what's a guy got to do to get a little refreshment around here? Oh, sorry, man. A beer okay? Anything. Except milk. Great surprise, hey, oh. eh, Mom? Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. Take your top. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, never. Never. I'll never he give can't up. stay. Honey is my friend. If he needs a place... He can't stay. Well, what am I supposed to say? You say... He can't stay. So, Uncle Mert, how long are you staying? I don't know. I'm not sure. I gotta move to a hotel in the morning. I got some business in town. Oh, Mom, tell Uncle Murph he can't leave. Murph, you can't leave. Yes. 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 Oh, did you hear your mother? I can't believe I said that. Yeah, I was a little surprised myself. You have to tell him I didn't mean it. What, I get to be the bad guy? He's your friend. He's our friend. Whatever you say. Honey, give me a break here. Oh. All right, he is our friend. But every time Murphy's around, look at us, we start arguing. <sighs> All right, I'll talk to him first thing in the morning. Maybe he'll understand. Thank you. Mm.
Where's Lieutenant Brogan? He's, uh... He's in the interrogation room, Captain. With Armory Wolf again? Yes. What the hell's he doing? Whispering, sir. Where's Wolf's attorney? On his way. Damn! You want to hear it again? Okay. We can hear it again. 911, emergency services. Oh, please, somebody help me. I was followed home, and there's a man in my apartment. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. I'm sure he's hiding me. Oh, no, please help me. He's here. He's hurting me. Get off me. No, no, no. He's here now. 27 credits. He followed the old woman home from the market and almost killed her for 27 credits. For drugs. Your drugs. This is harassment, Captain. You have no legal right to talk to my client without counsel present. You're welcome to lodge a complaint. I'll have you in court before you ever see my client there. They can't use a word you said, Mr. Wolf. Yeah, well, lucky for you, your client's been giving me the silent treatment. But lucky for me, this boy has it. Says he buys his highs from Mr. Wolf here. Huh, that's it? That's why you pulled us in? Because some convicted felon told you a story? Yeah, well, a lead's a lead, I had to ask. Then ask. You ever seen this boy before? No. So you never sold him drugs? He answered the question, Brogan. You ever sold drugs to kids? Oh, of course not. Have you ever sold illegal drugs? That's it. You want to go fishing? Do it on your own time, Brogan. You heard my client, Captain. Now hear me. This is the third time in a month that Brogan's badgered Mr. Wolf. He needs a new hobby. And you need to get your cops in line. Now, either press charges or open that door. My word against the kids. It's not your word that bothers me. It's hers. Please, somebody help me. I was followed home, and there's a man in my apartment. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. I'm sure he's hiding me. Oh, no! You're getting reckless. I'm getting closer. The cemeteries are full of people who got closer to Armory Wolf. Call it a day, Lieutenant. It was a lucky shot. Dream on. If Bronkhurst isn't checked into the dead zone, Limor hasn't got a chance. I can't talk slam ball with you, Oren. It's a total waste of time. Is this it, Slomo? You are looking at the complete file, Lieutenant. Well, there's nothing here I can use. Look, Brogan, nobody's blast proof. Not even Wolf. No, Haldane, not your paperwork. Come on, it's what you're good at. You have no idea what I'm good at. The kid you pulled in for possession, they just found him in an alley, OD'd. What was he doing in a jail? He made bail. With what? He was broke. Yeah. Armory Wolf. And I showed him the kid's picture. Don't blame yourself, Brogan. If Wolf wants to nail someone, he doesn't need a picture. Not this boy's. Not yours, so be careful. Guys, we got a research lab says someone stole a bug, and we've got a bar and brawl at the sports pit. All right, we'll take the bar, you take the bugs. Absolutely not. Took and I'll take the sports pit. Yeah. You sure about that? I'm not afraid of barroom rules, Haldane. And I resent the fact that you automatically think women can't handle them. Oh, come on, Janie. It's falling on deaf ears. You afraid of creepy crowleys? I didn't know you had a thing about bugs. I don't. They got a thing about me. Fourth entry. No prints. 
Security guard missing. Inside job? Well, I suppose the forced entry could have been faked. All right, get out an APB on the guard. Right. Officers, I'm Dr. Long, project leader for Dexcore Pharmaceuticals. Dr. Long, was this uh, bug part of your project? The bug was the project. Terranasis Eternicum, the forever beetle, magnificent and rare, close to extinction. The female that was stolen was the last of its kind. It had only recently been discovered, emerging after 17 years underground. Wow, 17 years. When the mature beetle surfaces, it begins its metamorphosis into a spectacular butterfly, which lays around a million eggs. So what are we talking here? Saving the species? Right. In captivity, hundreds of eggs could survive. Mm. Um, your guard's missing. Do you think he took your bug? Albert Vint? It's hard to believe. The forever beetle was his life. Yeah, well, what better reason to steal it? There is a better reason. Let me show you something. You're about to witness an experiment conducted under my supervision. This is Senna M, the subject of the experiment. Senna was born without the complete fingers of the right hand. The experiment involved the application of a drug we developed. We hoped it would stimulate cell regeneration. Did it work? Just watch. Five days, 10 days, 15 days. My God. We found the drug in the womb of Terranosis Eternicum. The forever beetle. If only we could learn how to synthesize the chemical. Yeah, your competitors would like to get their hands on that bug. They may already have. Okay, break it up, everyone. Break it up! Come on, you, over to this side. No start at this. Break it up! Men can be so aggressive. Tell me about it. Hey, Beth, isn't it about time you redecorated? Is he the one who started it? Finally got here, huh? You missed a great fight. Put your hands on the bar. <laughs> Anything you say, honey. Keep your mouth shut. Great hands. You doing anything later? No, but you are. Oh, yeah? Got a date with the jail cell. Another one for the cage, Sergeant. Charges? Drunk and disorderly, reckless endangerment, and destruction of private property. Name. What's your name? Sergeant, tell them my name, please. Thunder, Cole. Hey, hey, it's the man himself. Thunder, it, 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 it's you. I don't believe it. What's the problem? Is there something we can do to help? Nah, these two kind ladies just brought me up here. Show me around. Janie, are you nuts? Who's the cuffs? Look, I'm sorry about this, Thunder. There's been a mistake here. What's going on here? Who is this? Thunder, Thunder Cole. Cole. Oh, big deal. Let's go. Hey, hey, the Don't worry, Thunder. We'll get this figured out. Yeah. We'll get you out of here. Yeah. Right. We'll Yo. win you. Hey, hey, Thunder Cold. Whoa. The sports pit? <sighs> I knew we should have taken that. Look, just let me apologize on behalf of the 88. Don't you dare apologize for me. This is Thunder Cold. He's the greatest slam ball player in the history of the game. If you'd be so kind. I don't think that'll be necessary. Took. Let's take Mr. Cole to one of our best cells. Sally, I... Patrick, you've said it yourself. He always overstays his welcome. I mean, he's a freeloader. I never said he was a freeloader. Look, I know he's your best friend, but... Uh... Honey, I never said he was a freeloader. You implied it. Look, look at us. We're arguing again. I'm not arguing. Patrick, please. I just want him to stay somewhere else. <sighs> All right. I'll talk to him tonight. Well, I don't think you're going to have to wait that long. What? Hey, buddy. Uh, it's OK, Fredo. Uh, let him in. Have fun. Hey, Murph, what are you doing here, man? I need a favor. I've got some meetings in Demeter. I was wondering if I could borrow your hopper to get around. 
Yeah, sure. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Look, we gotta talk. I promise I'll only be a couple hours. I promise. Who's that guy? Tommy Murphy. We stay in a few days at our house. We grew up together. School, scouts, sports. Best halfback I ever saw. Best man at my wedding. Best friend. Oh. What a hero. You know, I saw him about three months ago. He wiped the field with the rest of them. Yep, he was brilliant. What a player. Absolutely brilliant. I modeled myself on him, you know. Why don't you get a life, Orin? What? I'm only saying. It's okay. Liz is um, asleep. Matt's pretty restless. We used to dare each other, you know, see him get scared. He'd, um, he'd ride his bike down a flight of stairs at school and dare me to do it, and I would. I'd uh, climb up on the roof and... <laughs> walk along the peak and um, dare him to do it, and he would. And I remember when, when we got older, <laughs> he dared me to, to kiss a girl. <laughs> and for the first time, I was scared. Then one day, I dared him to get married. He said he would. We found another you. was his way of saying he was never going to get married. And it was his way of saying if anything ever happened to me, he'd take care of you. That bomb was meant for me, so... Well, the good news is, the device was made by an amateur. That's good news? It was a lousy bomb. How good does a bomb have to be? Isn't good enough to kill somebody good enough? Or does it have to score style points, too? Back off. You know what I mean. No, I don't. A good bomb, a really good bomb, doesn't leave anything behind. Nothing to examine, nothing to identify, nothing to piece together. I'm sorry about your friend, Lieutenant. I truly am. But this bomb is the best chance we've got to catch the guy who did it. We gotta pull in Henri Wolf. We already have. What's going on? You're too close, Rogan. And too angry. He's right. I don't believe this. This is getting tedious. You're right. Well, just don't leave Demeter, Mr. Wolf. Who knows? We may need to talk again. Just make sure you call me first. Ah, Brogan. Sorry you missed our little chat. We need to talk. No way. Alone. You can read their report. Okay, Brogan. You got it. Mr. Wolf, I don't advise this. Let me get you a cup of coffee, Mr. Pike. Thank you, yes. You just made the biggest mistake of your life. Number one, you messed up. I'm still here. Number two, you killed my friend. Number three, you got sloppy. You left a trail. I'm gonna get you, Wolf. It's called payback. Number one, 
If you think I'm the only person who wants to dance on your grave, you're dumber than I thought. Number two, I don't leave trails. Look for someone who does. And number three, you ain't worth the risk to kill. But if you should ever do something dumb enough to make me change my mind, you won't know what hit you. a list, Lieutenant. I didn't realize you were such an unpopular guy. Thanks. I needed that. What do you got? Enemies. Hundreds of them. You rule out Wolf yet? Yeah, for now. Anybody on this list could have planted that bomb. Thunder! What are you doing here? You're out on bail. Ha, ah, that's been fixed. Officer Oren around? Yeah, he's right over there. Go on through. Come on in, Thunder. Oren! Oren! Look who's here! Hey, Jam! Looking good. Listen, I want to thank you again for what you did. Uh, You'll be my guest at Saturday's championship game? Hey, this isn't graft, is it? Hey, thanks to the old man here, the sports bet dropped all charges. Me and Babs kissed through the cameras. Great publicity. <laughs> so you're a hero now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see those tickets, Paul. Officer Castle. Hey, hey, Aaron, here I'm hey, Castle. Are you going to try to use those tickets to apologize to me? Don't. You're wasting your time. I can't stand Slamble. I think it's pointless, primitive, and idiotic. Whoa! What? Please, please, the lady's entitled to her opinion, which I respect. Would you, uh, let me apologize to you over dinner at Flax? See you later then, huh? Yeah. Yeah, catch Thunder. you later, Thunder. See you soon. Hey, all right. Hey, he's a Thanks friend of tickets. Ours. We got tickets to the game. Sorry, Jill, they're bad for you. Trust me. I don't know what you're talking about. Mom and Liz will be home soon. Squawk at them. Zell. I don't believe that dumb thing. What are we looking for? A beetle! That's what we're looking for! It's gotta be here somewhere! Take a look over there! Well, there's nothing in this room! Just keep looking! I'm looking! Look! Ah. Ah. There! Now! Over there! There's nothing here! Try the rooms down here! Nope. I'll get to study! You take the kids' room! Okay, okay, I'm going!
I'm not going to miss a thing. I promise you, Lieutenant. I know. You're right. I'm sorry. They didn't take anything valuable. Cash, jewelry, nothing. No. It looks like they came to wreck the place. Yeah, but why? There's got to be a reason. We'll get them, sir. You better check over here. It's coming through, Matt. It's a little more, honey. I hope it turns out all right. I only got a quick look at them. Yeah, you're doing fine, Matt. So, how was your date with Thunder? You don't want to know. Uh, sure we do. No, you don't. What happened? We want details. Well, he spent most of the time going from table to table, working the room. Hey, he's a famous guy. It's hard for him. That's no excuse. People want to talk, say hello. He has to be polite. Yeah? Well, he ignored me. I don't think that's very polite. Well, how about the food? Was that good? I don't know. I left before it was served. What? Huh? After the fight. The fight? I told him I didn't appreciate being stranded at the table. He said I was too uptight. I disagreed. And then he told me what he thought I needed. And that's when I got up and slapped him. You hit thunder, Cole? <sighs> and I was so looking forward to the wedding. I can't believe that. I just cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. I just cannot believe that. Hey, how was your date with Superman? Terrible, okay? Why are you so uptight? You know what you mean. Ah. <laughs> Quit fooling around, Halday, and the lieutenant's waiting in the cruiser. We just got a reported sighting of the two guys who trashed his place. Angel Rupp and Yad Nardo? Doesn't make sense. They're not on that list of yours. Yeah, well, maybe I rested the guy that hired him. Tell you what, we'll ask him when we catch him. Why you trashed my home, scared my kid, and killed my friend. I don't know what you're talking about. One. You gotta believe me. Two. I swear to you, I never killed your friend. Easy, Brogan. Stay out of this. Look, all I know is we did some cop's house in the burbs. Your house. Didn't find what we were looking for. What was that? I, I don't know. Some, some bug or something. A, a beetle. The forever beetle? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Your friend, Murphy, he had it. He already sold it to our client, but he, he died before delivery. You telling me Tommy Murphy had the forever beetle in my house? I told you, it wasn't there. Who's your client? Oh, man, I can't tell you that. Oh, all right, all right. It was Xander Farmix. It's number two to Dax Corps, their main competition. Get him out of here. <laughs> Hey! Uh, uh. Hello, anybody home? I'm here. Liz? Matt? <laughs> oh, dear. Unbelievable.
Fredo. Meet Nardo and Rupp, home records. Book them, show them a cell. When you're done with those two, Fredo, can you check the bank accounts for Xanapharmix? See if they made a large cash withdrawal sometime in the last two or three days. Ah, seems your friend Murphy had a long history of petty thefts. This time he sees his chance to strike it rich. So he steals a bug from one lab and sells it to the competition for a fortune. Yeah, and kills somebody in the process. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe not. We haven't found the security guard yet. For all we know, he was Murphy's partner in this, huh? Yeah. Spend your life with somebody you think you know him than this. It's a bank statement from Xanapharmix. They made a 500,000 credit withdrawal the day before Murphy was killed. I checked out the blood stains from your hopper. We got a match. You won't believe it. It was Vent. Vent? Who's he? The missing security guard from Dex Corps. He was in the hopper when it exploded. Not Murphy. Murphy's alive? What are you doing with that? I found it in Matt's room. It was loaded. I gotta deal with this. You're gonna deal with me first. You know how many times I've talked to him about guns? He didn't buy that gun to break your precious house rules. He bought it because there are people out there who can come into our house, into our lives, and hurt us, or kill us. And he's not about to let that happen, not when he can do something about it. He loves you so much, he's willing to die for you or kill for you. I'm not angry at him for that. Murphy didn't fake his death so he could take the money and run. I agree. He faked his death so we stopped looking for him. Exactly. Yeah. Because he needs more time. More time for what? To get more money. He still got the buck. Huh. More money? Huh. From who? Down to Farmix. They're a little short of cash right now. We've seen their bank statements. Right. But there's one other drug company that could afford it. The same one he stole it from in the first place. Dexcore. Our old friend Dr. Long. Why sell it once when you can sell it twice? Get a hold of this information for me right away. Sure thing, Lieutenant. Yeah, well, some friend, this guy, could have faked his death a hundred different ways and not involved you. Nah, he wanted me to see him get killed. I'm the perfect witness. If the police say he's dead, he's dead. Yeah, he makes the bomb look like it's meant for you to throw us off track. Smart. Man, all the time he's sleeping at my house. And I can't figure that out. Why did he stay the night? He could have still come by the station and borrowed the hopper. Cheaper than a hotel room? Yeah, it was a move. I've known Murphy a long time. He never wastes a move. Did you see the look on his face when you brought that stamp down on his hand? <laughs> Tar and males are so different. If they feel something, they say it. I don't understand human male emotion at all. Mm, join the club. Hey, guys. We got another bar and brawl at the sports pit. Thought I'd give you first dibs. Arn, what do you got? All right, Lieutenant. Here it is. 
Texco Pharmaceuticals didn't make any kind of withdrawals within a week of Murphy's so-called death. You're kidding. But they made a whopper this morning. Thanks, Orrin. Okay, everyone, up against the ball. Turn around. Right, move it. Hands on the ball. Nah, you're wasting your time. We've been through all this before. Did I ever tell you guys me and Miss Police Officer went for a date the other night? Way to go, I had a great time. After she left. <laughs> She's a real cutie. A little uptight. And we all know what she needs. You do, huh? You better believe it, baby. And you're the one who can give it to me? If you pick the lucky number. Janie? Come on, sure. Pick a lucky number, eh? Like she did? Yes, I got it from the bank this morning. I didn't know what else to do. He said if I called you, he'd destroy the beetle. I couldn't bear that, so I got the money. What did you agree on? Why, he's bringing it here in half an hour. Look, please don't interfere. I just want to get that beetle back. Brogan. Lieutenant, you wanted me? All right, this is important. When you dusted, what rooms did you find Murphy's prints in? Just a sec. Here we go. Hallway, living room, dining room, kitchen, kids' room. Um, which kids' room? Matt's room. All over the closet door. Okay, thanks. You think of what I'm thinking? Yeah, the bug, it's in the closet. Yeah, like I said, Murphy never wastes a move. He's probably on his way there right now. I hope Matt's not home from school yet. All right, you stay here in case Murphy's already on his way down. How to get out of its box? It must be here somewhere. You must have seen it. Did you take it out of its box? I told you I didn't know it was in here, Uncle Murph. Look, the guys that broke into our house, they, 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 they tore everything apart. I must have, I must have gotten out. It didn't even disappear into thin air. It's got to be here somewhere. I'll help you look for it. Hey, right. Where? I can see him. Don't say a word. Oh, I swear. Oh. You what, Murphy? Leave the room, son. Shut the door. Call the station for backup. I trusted you, Murphy. I cried for you. those contributions to the department's insurance fund. They haven't gone for naught. You're the proud owner of a brand new hopper. I know how tough this was for you. Ever since we were kids, I made excuses for him. I let him get away with all kinds of things because we were friends. He counted on that. Well, you can't be a cop without seeing the world in a different way, Brogan. You know, we have to live with things that other people would sweep under the carpet. You did a good job, Lieutenant. All right. Check your belongings and sign. Nothing personal, Sergeant, but I'm going to count my money. Oh. Hey, guys, need some tickets? Did you hear something? Nah, just some sleaze bag making a lot of noise. Yeah, that's what I thought. Do you want some tickets for tonight's game? You've got to be kidding. What's the matter with you guys? No, stay. I need a witness. Look, I... Uh, I hate it when people make assumptions about me, and I realized that I was making assumptions about you. 
so I'm sorry. I guess I deserve to get stamped. Yes, you did. That's it? I thought she'd at least have dinner with me. I guess that qualifies as another assumption. old for this but it makes me feel good makes me feel good too dad i'm sorry about the gun it was really stupid no no it wasn't it was dangerous and it was illegal but it wasn't stupid you were just reacting to a situation you should never have been put in in the first place you're being very brave Hey, Dad. Mm. Don't people sometimes get rewards for being brave? <laughs> yeah, I guess we could uh, spot you a few extra credits this week, as long as you clean up this desk. Good night. about you. You okay? Well, I think about Murphy being in prison for the rest of his life. And I think I'm really lucky I got you guys.